Okay. Our third case is a 61 year old male who is a known case of diabetes and hypertension presented to us with a chief complaints of unstable angina. His 2D echo showed normal LV function, LVEF 60%. Coronary angiogram showed CAD LMCA with DVD, calcified lesion, mirror image dextrocardia. His syntax score is 12. Our plan is to do PCI to LMCA bifurcation lesion, Medina 010. has a tight stenosis some uh, disease in the ostium and tight stenosis we if uh, time permits we are going to fix that also uh, show the other views show the other views left views please this was catheterized you know are ah, just go on showing just ask them to 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 run the loop and show. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Bitch. This is a mirror image right. dextrocardia, and we have hooked it with some difficulty using uh, 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 tiger. And you can see a lot of calcium and osteal LAD extensively calcified and a long lesion there. Sarki is otherwise reasonably good. RCA has a tight stenosis near bifurcation and uh, that's all. Uh, yeah, one more view. Yeah, so the national and international guests. Malcolm, what do you think? Which, which guide you will take? Mirror image dextrocardia and this lesion, we are not sure. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what to do? I will ask Tak as well as Rajiv also, which guide would you think should be a good guide? Uh, which lesion, I'm sorry, I'll just come here, the LED you're going to do? LED? Yes, 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 it is almost osteal uh, LED extensive calcium, long lesion type C, it is Medina 010 type almost. I see. So. So the desocardic case, the question is how you will engage a left main. Maybe you are just using a regular one, EBU V5. <laughs> what will you use, Rajiv? What diagnostic did you use? This was a Tiger. Tiger. I think I would also I would use an EBU XB guide catheter with a wire in to have to manipulate it. Acha, uh, from the panel, because this is very important, you know, for younger cardiologists. Because this time of thing, you you come across once in uh, two years or three years time you see that couple couple case a year that's a lot <laughs> how about you Raji? how often do you see that in mayo well once every five years yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys able to hear me over there yeah Tejas, yes, we, yes. we can hear you very well yes. it's, it's, it's been a really good discussion so far I, this is this is uncommon, and uh, you know I've engaged many uh, coronary arteries with dextrocardia, but mm -hmm. rarely had to do PCI. So I mean that's uh, often a distinction here, and I think you've shown there with the Tiger catheter that you've engaged really well, and I would agree with the uh, the previous comments and suggestions. Probably just go in with your standard uh, guide catheter and and go from there. A as a as a backup, uh, if, if it if for some reason the anatomy is more complicated than what it appears, and I think sometimes we overestimate the difficulty of doing these, uh, but then maybe a, a, an amplatz uh, if you really uh, need it. But I, I suspect an EBU guide is going to work just well. Yeah. My next question: uh, Does the root make any difference whether you are using radial? right radial, left radial, or femoral? Because this very, question very has a question. relevance for very young good guys. Question. As I say, I, we had only one experience every five years. So <laughs> it's really difficult <laughs> to comment on that. Yeah. But I know there's a, some laboratory, they equipped it, they can flip the image. Yes, left yeah, right. every, every cath lab can flip the image. Do you do but that now? Still, no, no, I'm not going to do that. But still, you know, cannulation, if you are going to face some problem, you will. That will give you sort of a deceiving type of comfort that you are now working with a levocardia situation, but it may not work that way. 
Uh, in our career, Sanjay, we must have done maybe seven, eight or nine, not e still not in double digit. But yeah, we have done it periodically. Okay. Right, so what guy think have they use? Ibu, uh, Ibu. Because I yes. have to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> that was there in my mind, yeah. And even Sanjay's mind, yeah. And Tejas, based on the, uh, the direction of the catheter, it looks as though you had no difficulty uh, coming across from the right radial. Yeah. This is descending aorta. See, this is descending aorta. Go there. Go there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to RAO. Now I will not go to LAO. Go to RAO. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Okay. And I am there. Okay. Come to again AP view. So that's a nice trick. Go to RAO and then flip around. Okay. Professor Patwari has come from Bangladesh. Just call him inside, please. So now I can have, I have some idea, some roadmap, long calcium. My plan is, you know, to, to treat it like a heavily calcified lesion. I will dilate. Swear. Again, I will uh, do imaging. Uh, again, OCT Udo, I will do Udo, yeah. and then I will, uh, you know, uh, uh, do lithotripsy and then see. Here, I am sure that I may not even wire circumflex at this point of time because there is a great angle between LED and circ. Sanjay, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Agree. There is no problem. So, rather than complicating it, I want to make it a little simple. Because as such, there are a lot of issues in this case. Uh, we are very near. Yes, we are in. Okay, fine. Yes, Out. This is uh, Kalazir, a very nice case and very unusual. Yeah, would you, Khalid. Would you consider uh, rotational atherectomy here? I, I don't mind, but uh, you know, this is a big LED and again, something, you know, I have learned from Professor Akasaka that for better MSA in this case, I will use, uh, you know, uh, lithotripsy. Yeah, uh, for me still there are some great indications of rotational atherectomy. If I cannot crack with the balloon this lesion, then I will rotablate and then again put lithotripsy. Otherwise, if lithotripsy mm. balloon goes sure. in, no problem. So, uh, go to which view? Epicordal. Epicordal. Okay. Yeah, now we're talking some uh, calcium modification strategy. Oh, it's a complex so lesion. Huh? What do you think, Raji? You want to uh, lipotricy or rotor Are or CSI? Uh, go to RAO cordal. Are cordal. I think uh, the strategy has changed ever since lithotripsy. I think I would do the same here, hmm. wire, non-compliant balloon and lithotripsy. And if it's non-dilatable, yes, then I'll go with best rotor. We have to pull the guide back. You, what mm. I mm. think it is, is we guide. can put yeah, it is I thought you would do a NC balloon for sure. Yes, or yes. Cutting yes. Balloon, okay. Get an mm. imaging and then assess if it's an imaging. <coughs> Sanjay, it's a really bad mm. that you I show your rotor how in this case. The, you, what shape you are giving. Now, I think the young guys in the audience should look at the shape San, Dr. Sanjay is giving to enter the LED. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, it looks like the guiding catheter is selected to the circumflex. Yes, yes. It looks like that, but I was also thinking, but Sanjay pointed uh, me I out that it is just, just that's before that's the, so the, the, the reason. Uh, hello, hello, so Professor Patwari, how hey, are hello, you? Hello. I am giving so more I secondary curve. So would you, Sanjay, yeah, just show. Would you, yes. Sanjay, would yes, you, yes. Would you consider put a Y in the circumflex first and pull that, the guide that, back a little bit and that, the second Y go to That LED? was what I was thinking. But he prompted me to, to straight away go in with the wire. So let me do that. Give us a little bit of lateral twist, Sanjay. Okay. We create some sort of, uh, you know, scoliosis to the wire. <laughs> okay. Sanjay, you make a double pan or single pan? How you do that? Double bend, double bend, double double bend, bend double and bend. then some lateral twisting. <laughs> so, right? It went in guiding. No. Yes. 
No, no, no. Guide is coming out because on the inspiration. No, not required. Yeah. Uh, which wire you are using, sir? Run through. Okay. AP, 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 AP. AP, AP. Now, Vitak, I think I will believe you, <laughs> but uh, let no, me try once. Me. <laughs> Always. Oh, oh wire, <laughs> metal wire. Lailo, take a, take, wait a minute. If I go in LV very safely, then I will unfold it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, scout. That is a nice scout. trick to to go to the LV and then pull it back and gauge. Yes, rotate. The other way. Exactly the yes. opposite okay. movement I am doing. Yes, fine. Yes. Now Again. keep it at the tip, no problem. Go to LAO caudal. Is RAO caudal rather. Hmm. RAO caudal. Chuck, you uh, emphasized that that was a nice technique, but uh, I think they just made the point of doing it very carefully. Scout. <laughs> it will go. That's just like every angioplasty, we got to be careful, right? Yes, it went. So I am lucky. That's very nice. Epicranial? <laughs> <laughs> Epicranial. Raji, how often are you using a twin pass catheter type in this case? Which if catheter? Twin pass. Twin pass, never. I, I, I have no experience, actually. Yeah, very rarely for this anatomy. It is great for some CTO or some very backward angulated. Sometimes you, we can use an export catheter instead of a twin pass in a big vessel. Uh, or now with the angled microcatheters like Supercross, Venture, don't typically use it for angulation. How about how about you use a, the micro a twin pass or a angulated microcatheter, very sharp? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Areo caudal. Get me, you know, NC track neo. You think 2.5 millimeter diameter balloon will go in, or should I take two? To start with, I think two first. Two. Then do two. imaging. Professor, two, two, two by fifteen or twenty and NC track neo. This is a new, uh, but non-compliant balloon which I have started liking. You know, otherwise, you know, in my lab, I love to use NC emerge. NC emerge is it's so far I had seen only one balloon which has a property of a compliant balloon and it is still completely non-compliant. Two by fifteen. It's very, very trackable. Fifteen, okay. Yes, for P dilation P dilatation. Do you you always using N C balloon or the regular balloon? No, this is a lot of calcium, yeah. Only, I mean, NC for this anatomy, I think, very calcified. How about you? But, uh, this is NC balloon, if it is 2.5 diameter. RCH, it's a little bit of a sample. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If 2 diameter, make sense. Yeah, I think most people are using NC balloon on that. But I think may not be a yeah, big, big difference if I do the P dilatation so because I just want to get an imaging catheter in. So I create some lumen with any catheter, any balloon catheter. Then after imaging, then we probably need an NC balloon or lipochesi or rotor. That's what I'm thinking. OCT there, Kardo? What are your imaging criteria okay. for rotor? Yeah, 15. What's your uh, yeah. IVIS imaging criteria? It went in well. I think at least a 270 a on calcium. Okay. Uh, there's a long lesion, I mm. really prefer rotor than lipotricity. Okay. The new IVL balloon, you can get a 120. 160. 160. Yes. Oh, yes. See, pass, a, pass. I think pass, pass, we, pass, are, pass. we are going to show that in one case where we have to uh, do lose yeah. that for the three. Yeah. three I think for long lesion is definitely helpful. Okay. So, can you it. tell, it's just a, just a, you know, discussion, uh, for the discussion's sake, can you tell where, I mean, what are we going to see uh, in uh, OCT? Whether the calcium is superficial, deep, is it 180 degree or what? Khaled and Malcolm, we were discussing this thing last night. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think this would be 
both superficial and deep. I think this is when you yeah. see it on the on fluoroscopy that clearly it probably is both yeah. superficial so, and deep. Yeah. Good, good question. Uh, good, uh, you know, uh, discussion. But you know, our experiences all the time. I see the lesion. I presume what I am going to see in OCT, and then we see OCT. In this case, the way the 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 uh, cap broke, you know, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, 360 degree calcium, calcific nodule, these and that we are we may not see. Uh, it should be a lot of calcium, but here and there, and it should be, you know, uh, differential thickness of the calcium. That's the reason why it broke. Professor, yeah, yeah. Professor uh, Akasaka, would you have any comment on this? Take one suit after. Yeah. The thickness of calcium uh, is now very we can important. Uh, OCT. Uh, how okay. to use uh, 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 this type of PCI? Uh, we'll take a bigger we'll balloon, choose, right? So if uh, the, 2 .5 the thickness by 15 of calcium uh, is uh, you know, less than 500 new. micron, we can make a uh, crack or a dissection with a uh, high pressure ballooning or cutting <coughs> balloon. So the, the 500 micron is uh, one of the cutting point. To 15 decide to 20, which 15, treatment 15, 15, we 15, have 15. to do. Yeah, I think very good suggestion. Um, mm. For mm. the young mm. fellow or young attending or some inexperienced people like me, I ah. think very difficult. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> very difficult to, s from the angel, I can predict the OCD funding. There's one interesting thing. If you go back one picture and look at the balloon, with the cine of the balloon, look at the radiopaque dots and look at the balloon asymmetry when it's inflated. If you, play the, if you can play that previous shot, or the one with the cine of the balloon here. So look at the asymmetry of the um, dots and that balloon. So to me that suggests it's going to be eccentric calcification. Or oh, Nigel, do you think? Uh, if, if at all, you know, good discussion, if at all you know, we see, we are going to see nodular calcium and not calcific nodule. Okay. <laughs> 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 right, so now you're going to OCT, right? And now I'm dilating with a bigger balloon. Hey, what balloon? No, nothing. Still not reached. Yeah. 2.5 by 15 NC track Neo. Yeah. Okay, fine. Go. Guaranteed, there is no nodule. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent. I cannot Be guarantee hundred percent. Because, it, because <laughs> op open well. Yes, very quickly it opened. Uh, Kale, then Malcolm, you have anything and to say on this? Only this? two dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we need three dimensional. Can see. we see a little uh, contrast here to see if it recoiled? Or yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to adjust the wire in cranial view. Yes, it see, looks. I, I, that's why I think there is some deep calcium because it recoils right away. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good point, Scout. The here. I don't mind keeping it uh, in, in the septal. septal. Yes. Septal is a safe place when you are working in the left main or LED. Even if some perforation happens, it is it is always you know tackleable and normally uh, never you know life threatening. So no problem. So this is a OCT run we are taking now. Sanjay, I think yes. you need to go over slowly about your OCD technique yes. to the audience. Yeah, but, uh, you know, so, so, uh, Dr. Sanjay will show how he takes the CNE scout, Sanjay. This is still a little bit more. Okay, mm -hmm. go. Sanjay, you so, describe what yes. you are going to so, do. So, generally in proximal lesions, I inject... Uh, Maybe one second later. Uh, okay. After, okay, my guidance. Now, after you calibrate and you can Up. acquire, then That's wait for one second, then you inject. Is Any problem? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, 
in proximal lesions generally after one second i start to inject initially my speed is very low but as the middle marker starts moving proximally that is a lens then i inject very fast okay tell me when you inject beautiful injection okay. yes. yeah you right. get a great image here professor yes. <laughs> yeah 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 Yeah. yeah, there it's a it's a cal you know nodule yeah. calcium there. Eccentric calcium, right? Yes. Yes, we and all broken. The there is yeah. one one calcific nodule, yeah. Rajiv. Yeah, here yeah. is the bifurcation. The that is main. nodular. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go in. Left main is very big, more than five, right? Yes. yes. Here is in the bifurcation. Uh, yeah, a lot of fibrosis, and it's right. a right. healed plaque. Yes. Right. We can identify the calcium here. Yeah. More than yeah. 180. Yeah, nodule. Yes. Only one nodule. Nodule, yes. yes. A small, so small nodule. So, so I'm wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. a nodule, yes. Here is a nodule, and also we have a calcium here. Yeah. Right. So, would you say it's 270 degree now? Uh, yes, nearly. Yeah, yes, nearly. Yes. More yeah. than, yes, 180. And here. Right here, the distal also the 180 degree, very eccentric, septal, and then 2.5 2 or 3 IVL? 3. 3 millimeter IVL. 3. Here is a branch. Yes. Yes. Mm. And we have an, uh, some nodular calcium. No, no nodular calcium. Now, Professor, uh, you know, uh, I have a question for you. Yeah, right. I think uh, hmm? there will be so many who will love to understand that. Which nodule you think that it is breakable and which one is not breakable from the OCD finding? Right. This is a very discrete, thick uh, nodule, right? This might be difficult to make a uh, break. Only. Uh, Rotablator or orbital atherectomy making some modification based on uh, the, the wire uh, to bias. To but uh, on the proximal site, here is a, a nodular a calcium, and also we have the calcium, and here is a very yeah, a little bit thin point. So if we uh, use uh, the IVL, we can make a crack in this portion, right? So I think both of them should be breakable. We will do it, and yes. then we will do another OCT yeah, run. Great, yeah. Good. So uh, I think we can a lot of discussion about the calcium modification strategy. So we agree this case IVL. But it's in some cases we need both strategy. Yeah. We need some arthrectomy first, and then IVL or IVL arthrectomy. Yeah. So do we have enough knowledge nowadays about the OCT? How the guiding? Do we need the two strategy sure. for this patient? Or see, clinically, I feel that if your balloon has lot of difficulty going in inside the calcium it's a good idea Negative. to rotablate and scrap the superficial calcium out and then you do ivl to have better breakage otherwise if you Release. feel that you know you can open it up with balloon and use ivl no problem then you don't need it so but out of 10 cases in one or two or maybe three i may have to use both okay how about you rajit okay if there is a well dilution with nc balloon uh, how helps the IBL? How? Uh, IBL is help. Uh, how, because it will give good cracks to the calcium and ultimately it gives a better, better minimal stent area. And and it's all, you know, the, the, the event rate is directly, you know, in alignment with the minimal stent area. If bigger minimal stent area you achieve, chances are less. Yes, thank you. So, Tejas, one more time, if you can 
clearly clarify the difference between nodular calcium and calcific nodule? Yeah, cal nodular calcium is one which is buried inside the artery, may it be between intima and media or may be in the in media and no calcific nodule is something which is coming out of the media and it's almost like protruding inside the lumen. Right. Professor Akasaka will answer it again. Yes, uh, the, the nodular Cus calcium is simple negative. calcium uh, protrusion to the uh, uh, lumen and covered with the normal tissue, right? So, uh, and calcified nodule is uh, generally speaking elapsed calcified nodule. There are some fracture of the calcium mixture with uh, uh, fibrin or uh, lead thrombus. Very low volume for Dr. Patel's voice. Yeah, can you do it uh, something? Uh, sir, sir, yes, sir, just a minute, sir. Yes, sir. So the previous discussion, were you not able to hear? No, it was very faint and distant. Oh. But we saw the proximal expansion. So the even since the beginning of this case, this is happening? No, no, just just the last uh, you know 45 seconds. Okay. deliver your pulses maximum. Yes, that's true. So I am embarking upon both the nodules to finish them completely. Are you able to hear? Yes, yes. That's right. And is it uh, EEL to EEL diameter one to one sizing? I tell you many times with lot of calcium you are not able to judge. So I will go on the distal normal segment or proximal normal segment to decide my size. Wonderful. What do you think, Professor? Hmm. That is the ideal way to decide the size of the uh, baron. Right. Caudal, caudal ma. Five-year size. Yeah. So yeah, are you caught We cannot uh, identify the uh, uh, EEL okay. even in OCT. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. so are you caught all? So it is, it is still based on the distal and proximal oh. reference l lumen or EEL. Is it the distal reference EEL or is it the distal reference lumen? Uh, it, it's it's uh, both is okay because if you use on the lumen, a quarter size bigger, right? And uh, if you use an EEL quota size nice. smaller, okay, so right? So yeah. same algorithm. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. right. Would you keep couple of pulses uh, back and take an injection and then deliver or do an imaging and deliver or would you exhaust Go all? It's a, I, I see here I have decided to completely finish those two nodules. <laughs> Let us see what happens. Thank you. Scout. By and large, no. Uh, guide, 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 guide. I, I need to ask a panel. Okay.
um, the increasing use of the IVL have you seen a decrease perforation from the corner or all these things that you increase? Actually, that's a great question, and I, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself because I'll go <laughs> home and cause a perforation, but uh, it seems like it's less. Is it because we are simultaneously Six. using more imaging, or is it because of IVL? Very hard to separate that out. Okay. It's not going Raji, what do you think? Yeah, I, I agree with you, but I will also yes, say yeah, yeah. Uh, that I've had two last. perforations oh, with yeah. IBL. Oh, yeah. oh what's, and, this is last. Uh, it's anecdotal, of course, because the data would, would suggest it should be lower. And both cases was after initial dissection with a non-compliant balloon. So there was already a disruption with an NC balloon, Six, used IVL to additionally modify, okay. and both had a perforations, one required a cover set. Just anecdote, but I, I, don't think, I don't think we need to uh, high five the the perforations of yeah. the it's still going to be an issue. And it was one to one at four atmospheres? Good one? You got exactly that, one to yeah. one at four atmospheres. Wow. So I, I can tell you there is uh, data from Michigan, uh, from the Michigan database that Shall there, there is no check? difference. As the IVL use increased, the hmm. rotational orbital threat cool, decreased, like but there was no difference in the application rate. It's good. That's good to know. Yep, that's very good. Uh, what do you think about uh, this uh, 80 pulses result? I think, I think like reason, you I can do an OCT, yeah. right? No, I mean no, no. I want to break those nodules, so I will use a 3 millimeter balloon, non-compliant, get <coughs> me 3 by 15 NC emerge. So you're going to pre-dilate at high pressures? Yes, yes, and then we will take an OCT run. Then why you do a 3 millimeter? Your IVL is a 3.5, is it? No, 3. Oh, three only 3. three. three. Oh. Three. oh. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, sir. And uh, I tell you what, uh, the nodules were again uh, towards the myocardium. So uh, I'm a little careful on this. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Dr. Kiran here. Kiran, how are you? Fine, sir. Uh, sir, I want to ask that uh, uh, while delivering the pulse with IVL balloon, uh, we are usually going up to 6 millimeter. Is there any added advantage of going at higher pressure during mm, delivering no, pulse? No, that is not the company recommendation, but at times we go at around 8 or 10, not more than that. Uh, 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 if you guys can throw some light on it. I, yeah, honest to you, the IVL usually, the, the generally high, high pressure, right? 40 or 50 atmosphere pressure. So you increase from two to f six to eight initially. I don't know what is a big advantage on that. Uh, you may increase the diameter slightly, but I don't think uh, I you increase the pressure. It's generally. a good idea. And you know, now next we have good case of 120 pulses. We'll take that and when the pulses are reserved, we will show you in vitro, keeping it in mm. the water, how the pulses are delivered. I think uh, during this course of, you know, these two days, we will, at some point of time, we will show you that. Epicordal. Okay, Reva there. Okay, it looks Shyam. like the support, despite the variation, is very, very good, okay, right? Okay, fine. Yeah. Situs, inverters, and all that is not affecting it. So, teachers, do you routinely to post-dilate it after IVL? Do you routinely do that? Samir is asking you. Oh, uh, not routinely, Lifting. no. If I have under AP expansion, cordal. I will post that. Areo cordal. Areo cordal. If I have focal under expansion, I would post that. It. Yes. Okay. Same case lagai. Distal left, distal radial karai. Seat mo kai Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. First class. Now we will do an OCT run. It should be very interesting. <coughs> I guess it answers the question about a routine post notation with a um, NC below after IVL. I, I guess I do that routinely, and maybe that's wrong, but. Um, Really, just like to see that that has really opened up uh, nicely. Yeah, I, I don't think it, it ever hurts to dilate one more time before no. standing. OCT. No, brother, don't uh, 
Tejas sir, Back if I may now. ask you. Yes. Uh, Wolverine, <clears throat> don't you think would have been a better choice if it's not a truly 180 degree thick calcium? You may use a OPNC or a high pressure NC balloon. It, it is. Fibrocalcific it, plaques and osteal plaques. Uh, they probably respond better and give you a better lumen. That, that's what I feel that Wolverine could have been a great choice. Here I selected IVL keeping something in mind, <coughs> like if it is a completely, you know, normal uh, area which is, uh, which has some, uh, you know, sort of nodule, then I will love to use Wolverine because most of my IVL pulses will be wasted. But if there is a disease, then that uniformity, I don't know, this is my hypothesis, that it delivers proper pulses to, to that area. So let us see. <coughs> Post uh, IVL, can we still use in Wolverine for the osteum? That all depends, uh, you know. Uh, Chuck, uh, my question to you is post stand, have you used it? Wolverine. No. <laughs> I haven't used uh, post stand because it may disrupt the drug delivery, drug delivery system. Cutting balloon, I have not used. Hmm. Uh, IVL or cutting balloon? Catch what are you asking, yeah, I am asking cutting balloon. Post-tenting, no, I've never used it. Scout. Uh, uh, Rajiv and Tak, what do you think? Hey, hey, it's coming out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to pocket pile. The question is, uh, after the standing, Going in now? is any benefit from a cutting balloon? Oh, uh, Probably no. Okay. 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 Go to AP cranial and check it. Mm -hmm. the, the scalpels will not be able to you know, meet the tissue, right? To see, look at the just check it out. Okay, okay. Fine. let's go in. Sanjay, again, now how are you going to inject? You show that. Huh. And keep the camera focus here. Okay, so whenever he will give the command, enable command for the OCT, I will wait for a second. Then I will inject very slowly just to feel up to the lesion part very faintly. And when the middle mark starts moving proximally, that is a lens of OCT, I will inject very fast. Oh, I'm ready. Ah, beautiful. This is going to be a great image. Yeah, great Professor? image. Professor? Yes, great image, right, yeah. From the, the mid portion of the LED, right? Then we, we can identify the dissection, right? <laughs> uh, right. Okay, here it's is the broken. proximal and the, the, this is uh, nodular calcium, right? Total right, core. here is the left main, right? Mm. Yes. So back to the, the, the nodular calcium, right here, right. We cannot identify any fracture in this portion, right? Unfortunately, we yeah. can identify the dissection here, right? The nodule is still intact. No, no, yeah, it no, has broken nodule. there. Yeah. You yeah. can yeah. see yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. There are two, two big cracks. cracks. Yeah. Two cracks. Big so cracks. that's fine for me to deploy the stent. <laughs> there it's broken. Yes, absolutely. Yep. So once you have a crack, it's going to break with stent. Yes. Okay. Yeah, also, we have the uh, crack here, right? Can you tell me on the basis of this, the diameter of stand we are using, Professor? Uh, yes, uh, try to check. The, uh, di here is a distal rounding zone around here. Yeah. Right. It's a good zone, yes. Yeah, maybe uh, Phone three, are three millimeter diameter, right? Uh, here, right. Wait a moment. Media to media, right? 3.4. Five, right? No, so average should be 3. Lumen area is 6.98. That is 7. That is 3, Very actually. Over. Yeah. That is 3, yes. Ar around 7, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, quarter size smaller, right? Yes. And then I uh, try to measure Noise the proximal. Proximal is difficult to yes. identify. Okay. The, uh, we'll have to come all the way to the ostium, right? Right. Yeah. Here I am not going to take it as a left main bifurcation yes. and ni neither I am going to keep the wire in the circumplex because it's a 
big circumflex and the ostium is also good and there is a reasonable angle and a couple of millimeter stand protruding inside is not going to you know create any problem in this big artery so what do you think no, because this true, we have true. done all the time in carotid true no I from didn't. internal carotid to common carotid <laughs> even bigger <laughs> length yes Dr. Sir, if i may request you yes the location of the nodule and its impact on the circumflex ostium post anything and is there a dissection in the distal left main or just contrast your comment on that yeah here it's in the distal the left main we can identify the crack here is also the calcium right dissection uh, yeah. Uh, yeah calcium crack yeah. here is a crack crack calcium is from here to here right so we can identify the crack yeah, okay. so, so i think we the left, left, to left main is Prenotly, yeah. very huge and just this tall left main it yeah. should be Plus okay. Only we yeah. can identify some Length. crack here. So should you be stenting from LED to left main or? No, no, no. I, think, I, I think will be I yeah. will be sparing left main. I will make sure that I cover the ostium of LED well. May it be one millimeter protrusion or the something here and there, yeah. no problems. He, he I don't want to touch the left main. Twenty-eight. What is the length? Length, yes. Normal to normal, near normal segment? I think 28. Maybe uh, from here to the... Uh, here is the bifurcation, right? Mm. So 28. 28 is fine, huh? Yeah. If you or want 33. to cover it, it's 33 lately. 33. 33. 33. 33. Yeah. So 34 is available in Onyx. 3 by 34. Sir, uh, this is Dr. Anand Rao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Sir, me. Th there is a very a significant dissection in the distal left main. If you see that, if it's, it's going almost to the media. Uh, yeah. Uh, and to the Adventist actually. Nine, see that, see that. Yeah, 99% it so will see. So we seal. should, we should cover that, sir. Why, why leave that? Let us side? see. We yeah. will do another OCT. No, no issues. We'll see. I, I, uh, 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 Dr. Rao, I will love to avoid it because, you know, once you are, you know, covering this thing, hopefully everything should be fine. But let us see. Yeah. Now this onyx at 3 millimeter stand at 12 or 14 will look like 3.75, the balloon expansion. It is a very compliant balloon. So we are little careful. Uh, it's an extremely trackable stand uh, inside the calcium. Go to RAO Cordal. Only minimal center. Scout. No, guiding side under Oh, Scout. Yes. Check it out. Looks perfect. Go. Perfect. Go. Go. Twelve. No. Yeah. Is this 12? Yeah. Onyx is just inside the dart, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12. 12. I think Proxy I will hold on. Proximal, line we, can Proximal we can give little high. Distally, we have created at least 20% negative, res minus 20 negative residual. So. Okay. Are you going to go? We are there. Uh, no problem. Go up. How much? 15. 15? Okay, deflate. Here, if need be, I may go in after OCT with a non-compliant balloon to, to just simply uh, to uh, clean it up properly. May not be required, in fact. But okay. Just check it out. Okay. Is early, it the septal? Septal. early septal. Uh -huh. No, diagonal. Uh, this is this looks better. Yes, perfect, okay, fine. Perfect. Check it out. 
ఒక లెట్ మీ జస్ట్ ఎంగేజ్ ఇట్ ప్రాపర్లీ జస్ట్ చెక్ ఇట్ నా సూపర్ సమ్ పించింగ్ బట్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ పించింగ్ సంజయ్ దట్ ఈస్ దట్ స్ట్రట్ ప్రొట్రూజన్ ఇన్ సైడ్ లెట్ అస్ చెక్ ఇట్ and if need be here we can take one more run for the ostial cirque let us see i we don't run give so many runs of oct because this is uh, discussion uh, go, uh, of uh, uh, in an academic uh, so uh, yeah so that's uh, just as a panel the strategy uh, tj is using just to put the stand back couple stand short back to the left main so he can cover the dissection thing and without compromise the sir okay um, go to ap cranial do you okay. in the panel AP and cranial. how many of you will cover the whole left main to a provisional or how many will okay. be agree Looks with okay. that it's a good question approach. very good question go to go to areo cordal no okay okay so keep far it, it this looks like uh-huh. it should not cover it's the okay. left main okay how many percent yeah how many of you percentage okay i'm i'm so, okay so i think this, i would leave to this, this strategy m- minimal pro- is fine oh, oh sorry uh, but we'll see what the oct shows at the at the proximal edge of the stand pluro i think yeah, you're going to i agree to minimal yeah i i would agree i think minimal protrusion in, into the left main beautiful you you have you have wire uh, p- position you got imaging and then you can make up your mind otherwise i think you just make it more complicated uh, it's an excellent this, image in this case you know if there's just one om uh, and the lady is the uh, most important samir and uh, this is in the i want to ask a question ostium sure see when you say minimal protrusion in the left main this is an acute angle bifurcation okay when you have a minimal protrusion in the left main yeah if something happens to sir tomorrow what would be your implications so how will i address this case Good. i will definitely put the stent into the left main half way through the left main yeah. i would do a pot make sure the circumflex ostium is clean for future interventions but here in acute angle if you put couple of struts here now look at that look at the ocd image down in the l mode there are struts across circumflex ostium if there is a circumflex oh, stenosis later on how will you handle this <laughs> i think you'll be able to cross into the circumflex yeah. uh, because it's so large here see there What is hardly anything outside yeah. uh, uh, how I, many struts I, i i agree with uh, samir here i i think that that's wide enough there you should be able to easily yeah. get a wire and balloon if yeah. you have to do it and i think you had just have to be so careful because the we know that this high risk stenosis rates of the circumflex and you just do not want to have to do anything in the circumflex entering the strut should not be uh, entering the lcx is never a problem i'll show you now right. because you know you keep your wire towards you know the opposite side of the carina and you straight away enter yeah. and use a u shape wire just to enter in so no yeah. problems i think another thing with this lays out very clearly is oct shows you a lot of minor dissections and it almost is a learning no, no, curve right. to learn how to ignore it yeah right so here also tias if you look at the at the calcified nodule it's still there it's still protruding mm, but uh, are thing. you going it's a little bit into the led what uh, do you think about that a left main dissection i think that's good i think yeah. i'm i'm satisfied with that good okay. but the the os the proximal led a few millimeters into the ostium is where the minimum stent area is that's D- is that something i that tell you right, that right the there. minimal stent area is somewhere around 7 fu- a little further yeah little proximal, proximal it is LED. yeah it is more than 6 at any given place yeah so if if it is smaller than that would you continue to yeah in, the in the in the evening we have a great panel discussion session and i am going to sh- throw one case first case and we will discuss it out this is a great discussion we are we want to generate in the evening but yeah again i will not be aggressive on that area because the nodule which was there was on the myocardial side yeah. That's so so you can rupture the artery so no that's that's the usually the the tension is uh, are you going to cause a problem or does it need to be uh, no. dilated yeah 
one more uh, you know uh, majrak okay i will just simply remove this wire yeah, and try to ha kadu parse ha pelo mathi ni ha kadi lo kadi lo sanjay mm-hmm. you give that shape okay. when we are we want to go okay. and avoid stand struts keep okay. a camera here okay can you just show the nodule or area once please on the ocity it looks nice it will yeah yeah, yeah it will never look circular never oh, whatever you do mm. and would you consider eccentricity index uh, when you look at this sir uh, i think we should accept what it shows i i will accept it i think so, eccentricity chasing eccentricity especially yeah. in Oh, yeah perfect. and and with lot of calcium and yeah. big sort of plaque and lot of healed plaque area you know never become aggressive that is what is our philosophy because you know but seeing too much inside you can sometimes create some complication yes and also the strategy of not using a non compliant using a semi compliant to compliant balloon to expand the strength struts to available area would be a better sir, strategy cutting pass over sir cutting pass over okay i'm wondering here is a okay look at the curve yeah. hmm. look at this curve and see my wire movement now and i am i mean now we will see the oct i mean look the patel said uh, the, the calcium is here very eccentric thick hmm. calcium and opposite side is nearly normal yes if dilate using a big about a higher pressure we may have a chance to uh, rupture rupture, rupture, rupture yes absolutely i want to go back to uh, your your question in the earlier session samir about uh, stand optimization and, and we know that uh, at least in your know, modern or contemporary uh, studies you know this is only achieved in what 55% or so and if we look at the most recent Look, study this comes from the PCI yeah. complex yeah. your uh, renovate so renovate complex uh, PCI study and there is a hint that uh, with stent optimization that's achieved that may s- is no, a little right. bit lower uh-huh. we don't know no. really what the magnitude but you're asking me is it two times it's five okay. times that i don't no. think it's of that magnitude it's a no. small no. and you always have to balance your the risk no. of have then having no. rupture no. or no. some no. other complication no. now it's okay, okay now it's okay it also Going depends on what's bit. the presentation of Agar maize is it stent thrombosis or is Set. it least stenosis that can be this handled with okay. other means Take right sir i wanted to ask uh, how to check the expansion because at places it was 73 78% yeah. and we know that it has okay. to be more than yeah. that i tell you one thing that how you to don't the reference bar yeah yeah you so sometimes you, you uh, we have to use our clinical acumen rather than going by the book chalo Yeah. Okay. But this but this is a great question and as we've got that, that Professor Akasaka there. Yeah. What should be the uh, the MSA uh, in a vessel like this? Is it 5.5? Is it 5.8 uh, square millimeters? And again, I mean you got the reference as well. You know, is it the distal reference is the average reference? So maybe Professor Akasaka you could just uh, with this particular case in mind just walk us through what you think uh, the stand optimization parameters should be. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we, we just for It looks great. Yeah. It looks this good. Is, yeah. Right. Okay, this is in the bifurcation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One one strut. One Three, strut. Yeah, right. So only one. Strut. Only one strut. That's it. No problem. Yeah. This yeah. is 1 mm tack. Only 1 mm coming out. and i'm sure that this cannot have any impact hopefully mm-hmm. as far as the clinical outcome is concerned yep. and uh, i we will be now embarking upon the right very quickly and i will even request uh, tak kon to prepare himself for a very interesting case before lunch the last one <laughs> samir yes is uh, audience tired or uh, they are okay i think everybody seems very actively engaged good so, yes not tired am i wrong guys you want to keep AP. going to shoot leon okay i hear a lot of yes kai nahi kar diye chal se chal se i think we don't need to take shoot yeah we have enough now the discussion will be rajiv which guide for the right 
in the uh, panel as well as you know uh, the on site commentators i think i always start with a mac so <laughs> mac is not available no, no. you mac. you know one thing mac the first Leo. patel one and patel 2 we designed the, you know way back in 2002 boston scientific created them yep. and then they discontinued and now they 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 are you know giving the same cow on the name of mac Yes, Metro. Yeah, although Boston, India are very, very close guys to me, but you know, I am upset with them. Actually, about Me this, Metronic in the United States is the first one to steal the shape. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Thank you. Thank you. My my default uh, guide catheter for right coronary interventions is an Akari right, and so I would use it uh, in this case as well. Having never done a PCI dextrocardia. Before. Yeah. Uh, 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 what's What's your choice, Rajiv? Ikari. Rajiv will use Ikari. And uh, you, Professor Patwari? Right, Jatkins. Okay. I, we are going to use. Me and Sanjay have decided to use hockey stick. Yes. Six French. कही दे आ ना थे तो अ करी दे हाउ लॉन्ग एम आई गोइंग टू टेक टू हुक द राइट एनी गेस थिंक एपी Okay. Go to RAO. Go to RAO. I think 30 seconds is my best. Oh no! You are being very kind to me. <laughs> It looks there, like there, there are 23 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> We're Scout. counting. We're counting. Scout. Oh, we are there. <laughs> See, I was right. <laughs> This is the right selection of the guide, probably which helped us go to LAO. Center. Ah, yeah. Are you ready? Are you? Center. We need to go. We have come out. We, we have come out. But, yes. but, but as an observation, uh, oh, if you look no. at this, this is a very Chalo. similar shape to the Akari uh, right mm. as well. This yeah. Is exactly Chalo, how it looks. Shoot. We have to separate it. We can go to the cranial. A little Epic. bit more cranial. Mm. Yes. Just check it. Better. Yeah. Better. Better. better fine better so yeah. i will advise uh, you know uh, tak and aman to scrub uh, this will finish very fast no, run through run through yeah mm -hmm. run through get another run through <laughs> what size balloon would you pre dial it yeah 2.5 2.5 12 12 15 2.5 12 yeah and maybe i may use the same stent or maybe 275 mostly 25 i i'm sure americans will feel bad they will ask to, me to use 3 mm <laughs> yep. these are indian arteries very very <laughs> typical arteries very very negatively remodeled yep. and we have to be little more careful on it and no imaging uh no Disturbed. no because you know uh, because tak's case is going to take some time so i want him to give justification to his case so i'll sure, quickly sure. finish it sure this lesion does not have much calcium or if at all it's a fibrocalcific lesion and we should be able to finish eh nikri go it came out scout it's Which almost one? like a uh, no ap ap oh, no no this this it's like okay. uh, you know uh, that no torque catheter scout yes yeah yeah rapid right you know yeah, samir you remember that diagnostic rapid right catheter yes williams catheter yeah williams williams catheter barabar jana upar upar scout there's a good demonstration of uh, how Fine. studying works you know उपनी ब्रांच है तो सारे जो उपनी ब्रांच 
it will give better support also mm. if I go to the upper branch. Yes. Scout. Fine. But then I have to be careful no. to not to go in the sub branch. Okay. Okay. No, still. We take but some time. No, this is okay. We scout. Why, Samir, you know? Because we have done some perforations in the distal tip. Yes. Yeah, you have to be extra careful here. Yes. Yeah, fine. this is fine. Dilate with two, 2.5 by maybe uh, 12 millimeter or 8 millimeter balloon. Get me NC track Neo. Again, I am using okay. a non compliant balloon, keeping in mind there is some good amount of calcium yes. because it was there on the left side. The seeding effect also. Okay. Okay. Sanjay has a different opinion that he says that 2.58 may have a, uh, you know, it will slip here and there if the fibrosis is more. We can get take 12 millimeter. 12. Yep. We are giving quite significant hyper in 15,000. So we are at ease. And at post procedure we always check. We post procedure we will always check it. And if it is low we give additional. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here somehow there are problems with the thrombogeny, you know, thrombogenicity in this, this part. And at times despite giving 15,000, one out of 10 or 15 cases post procedure, you know, ACT is somewhere like huh? 230 to 240. So, uh, urine language, eh? I'm not karailo. Karailo, karailo. What's chinta mat karo? Teju said, I don't want to distract you, but uh, in the background, I see your core path robotic system. Yeah. Uh, how often are you using that? Yeah, now, you know, days? we were using till when it was not withdrawn from the market. The Siemens, once it had taken over, you know, they have withdrawn it from the world market and all our hard work of doing more than 700 robotics with distant tele-robotic first in human project, which we worked for them and publications in Lancet, Circulation Intervention and all those journals, they, it's all, uh, you know, uh, uh, was in vain. And that, that was very, very unfortunate and disturbing moment because I thought that someday the things will click. Scout. Okay, fine. Ten. 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 It's nice to have 1.6 billion dollars and then put it on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, this Siemens did not have that patience, mm. you know, to invest on it. Fine. Okay. 15 lil here. 15? Yeah, give me 2.75 by 15 or so, cruise. This cruise uh, is a Indian make, make in India. And uh, that is one stand which I keep on the shelf and use in sometimes very difficult cases because the trackability... Uh, is extremely good. You can compare it with Onyx. And uh, it has never disappointed us in very difficult situation. And even the, you know, the TLR or mass rate is also very, very acceptable. Yeah. That is uh, Sirolimus. Tejas, your uh, disappointment uh, with the outcome of Core Path uh, Robotics is, is palpable here. Uh, but those numbers that you just gave us, uh, are those the highest numbers of any user uh, in, the, in the world? In the world, yes. And you know one thing, uh, Malcolm, this is very personal, but we spent money and we did not charge one rupee extra to the patients because I personally feel that you can charge only when you show benefit for the patient. So we invested heavily because I was thinking that we want to be pioneer in this someday. But yeah, that was a great disappointment. But it happens. Yep. What can you do? Going back to the case, what do you think are the, the very proximal right, right after the guide? That's, the I agree. I, they, there is a significant amount of calcium and some disease. But here you can see after engagement also, I don't see any damping or anything. So I will not touch it. Hmm. 
back, back, little back. Yes. Let us inject and oh, see. Huh, just before bifurcation. Okay. No. Yeah. In in the middle of bifurcation. Little. We back. have to pull it back. Okay. The only issue with this stent is the visibility okay. part, but uh, it tracks anywhere and everywhere. Little back. Little back. Mm. I have to unnecessarily use Cine for this, but yeah, because I don't want to miss. Fine. Looks uh, good or fine. little more? No, no, it's uh, okay, but that is the branch is also. Yeah, it's okay. A little bit in. Wait. Yeah, a little, little bit in, in might be good. Yeah, I want to avoid yeah, yeah. negative residual, yes, you yeah. know, uh, and the lesion will we be are okay. reflected. There is some, yeah. there is some proximal some plaque. plaque. Yeah, there is some proximal okay. plaque. This now, it looks it good. Is, looks okay. Go. I think that is a good spot. Hmm. 15. The stent is inside the dot, right? Yes. 15. 15. Maybe 17, 18. How much it becomes? 2.75, 2.93, okay, deflate. Did you say your call on DCBs for such lesions? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I have no experience using DCB because, I, I, you know, uh, uh, somehow we are painting the drug on the wall of the artery uh, rather than, you know, keeping a stable uh, 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 sort of thing which releases the drug for some time. I don't know. I may be wrong. And that is the reason which, you know, uh, makes me not to use it. And this looks good. If dissection happens with DCV then. Yeah. Anything? It looks that post dilate, post -dilate in the in post the post dilate in the middle. Yes. Three and uh, the balloon you use is again 2.75 hmm. at a high pressure. Yes. Yes. 2.75 emerge. 8 millimeter. 12. 12. The stent is 15. No problem. Oh, 15. Okay. You deployed it 17 atmosphere. So any reason to go for the high pressure 17 18? We, uh, I will leave it. Three. Okay. Take three. 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 Yeah. You can take eight. Three by eight. Three by eight. Get and see merge. I do I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Last. And then we shift over to the south lab with Tak Kwan and Aman. Yes, I am Budai Mahalko from Nagpur here. Yeah, don't yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Don't you feel uncomfortable with that uneasy, uh, slightly huh? hazy looking proximal lesion? Why yeah, not? No, no. OCT? It is, yeah, I tell you, it is calcium. We can do that. But this is calcium, Sine. Udai. Sine. Yeah. You came, I never knew. Then we will take your advantage. Okay. I was not knowing. I will take your advantage on the panel also. Fine. Go. Fine. 12, 13, 15. Okay, deflate. Fine. This is calcium, huh? I tell you. Mm. I can, we will shift over to that lab. I will do one OCT run here and we can show you afterwards because TAC is already ready. Cuddle. Okay, uh, so uh, you know the live transmission, we are going all perfectly on time. Let it be in that lab and uh, OCT. Uh, OCT. Or you want to see OCT? Yes, we would like to see OCT. Okay, okay fine. Osteo okay, Osteo another Osteo one minute. Wait, wait, wait. Another one minute. Yes, Osteal RC is just very important. Uh, yeah, but there is nothing wrong with it. This is all calcium and stable yes. plaque, fibrocalcific. 
This is exactly like what you saw in the austere LED, hopefully. And it is not significant. But I think uh, the, they, they are probably concerned about some big dissection, right? This aziness is not an unstable plaque. Okay? Yeah. Quick injection. Take, take, take Ready? Ready? His delayed injection he is giving. Yes. Okay. As Dr. Patel said, this is a nodular calcium, right? But uh, no unstable findings. Yes. See, Samir, this is an advantage mainly of presuming the OCT finding on the basis of angiographic picture, if you go on doing this, most of the times you, you, you are right. Oh, it yep. got hanged. What happened? Moving, right? I think it's frozen, yes. Frozen. frozen. So, if no? Yeah, if you reopen it, it might work. Biji ko image ho to, kulash. To pari le liya. Chalo, we take another view quickly. Why it happened? Okay, take it. But we could see that run. It looks good. Yes. Okay. Injected. Huh? Calibrate. Calibrate not to do. Calibrate not to do. Is it? Lens has gone. Lens has gone. So let us not uh, waste time. We, me as well as Sanjay as well as Professor Akasaka clearly saw on the run uh, that, uh, that, that it was a. So can we please give a comment on it, Professor? Nitro. I heard you. With a normal surface, right? So it, it should be a stable and Center uh, area Liquid. is enough, right? Yeah, it looks all right there. All of you, and let us uh, switch to the uh, south lab for the fourth case. Thank you very much. Awesome. Very nice work.